This is an iPhone 4S on iOS 6.1.3 and today we will actually jailbreak it because we can have an untethered jailbreak on iOS 6.1.3 So let's go First thing, connect the phone to uh, your uh, computer and open 3U tools Let me grab this, so if I plug it in Okay There you go, it's plugged in, and uh, if I zoom in a bit, there you go, that's better. So, we will, uh, well, actually, you need uh, three utils, uh, uh, two point something something, which is this one here, which uh, actually is the uh, three utils, three, uh, two point three, Eight, um, and you can find that where exactly? Yeah, I will. I will link the uh, this uh, URL in the description, and uh, you actually need to go there and find uh, three U tools two point three seven. Um, install it, launch it, and then. Um, you will go ahead and uh, jailbreak the phone in the way that I will show you. So, the 3U Tools version 2.38 is uh, installed, is opened. The iPhone uh, 4S on iOS 6.1.3 is uh, plugged in. And then you just go uh, here, it says uh, jailbreak now, go for that. And uh, now we will just actually unlock that and uh, now we will go ahead and click run jailbreak and this one will do the whole thing look the phone will go into a process and uh, let's uh, sit back and uh, enjoy the process by the way if i leave the phone down for a second um you will see that uh, on on my screen says 16 out of 100 so that one means once the full bar goes green and it will be 100 out of 100 then the jailbreak <coughs> will be complete excuse me uh, by the way you need to have your uh, antivirus uh, disabled otherwise it will not go through now the phone is uh, back up and the process uh, is uh, keep going so uh, let's wait a bit more 48 out of 100 oh that sound oh that's great so yep this process would give us untethered jailbreak and um, uh, well, we will be able to actually load uh, old games on this and uh, I've got it on my iPad too, which is downgraded to iOS 6.1.3 as well. Um, I've got uh, like Flappy Birds and uh, other cool thing, cool games, which actually will uh, so side load onto this one. And yeah, the 4S on iOS 6.1.3 runs way better compared to the iOS 9 Hence, that's why you actually want to downgrade the phone Because yeah, for these uh, legacy devices uh, The latest supported iOS actually made the device very slow So yeah uh, the process has been completed So well, whatever the system will say will say that uh, it is uh, jailbroken and I've got Cydia uh, installed already on there so now let's uh, Go ahead and um, open Cydia So uh, let's open Cydia here 
preparing the file system Cydia will exit when complete many apps out there that uh, you can find and sideload and actually bring back some nostalgia on uh, these devices so open now uh, Cydia and the Cydia is asking what we are user hacker developer let's uh, I don't know let's go user and then done so there it is Cydia is here is uh, actually downloading packages we'll give it a moment but yep you see here it is uh, jailbroken this iPhone uh, 4s on 6.1.3 now return to Cydia and we will do a complete upgrade all this yes sure and then restart uh, springboard So there it is. Now open CD again. Return to CD. Now let's go and um, install uh, two two sources. So the one uh, repo that we will actually install in order to be able to uh, download games on this iOS 6.1.3 device is uh, the um, uh, Invoxy Play Games uh, repo, which uh, will do that right now. So uh, resources and then uh, edit, add. And then go cdia dot invoxy play games dot uk forward slash add that. And then return to CDR. So the, is this one here? Click on that, all packages, and then as you can see, checkmate store, selected, modify, and install. And confirm. Restart Springboard. If you go back to Cydia, and then go install, you'll see the Checkmate store, it is there. Uh, well, we need uh, to add a few more as well. The other repo that we need to uh, install, it is uh, the Cairns repo. So let's go ahead and open Cydia one more time, and then resources edit add and that is cdr dot akemi dot ai and uh, we need to do that so we'll be able to uh, actually install uh, uh, AppSync Unified. Then now go and open the current repo, all packages, and you've got AppSync uh, Unified, not the one for iOS 4, because we are on iOS 6. And then, yep, yeah. so install. 
en confirm. Uh, important blah 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 is if uh, it says if AppSync Unified is not working after installation, please reboot your device. Okay, so we this one, yeah, will uh, require a device to uh, we need to reboot the device just in case if um, the um, if the report doesn't work. So now I've got a broken power button, which means I need to plug in the phone to my computer one more time and then uh, do a reboot using 3U tools. Yes, reboot. I mean, okay, it's a workaround because this uh, iPhone 4S's or 4's, they've got this issue with the power button where it's like jumped. I tried once to um, sort of fix it, worked for a bit, like for a couple of minutes and then went back to the state that it was. So yeah, this uh, is the process of jailbreaking an iPhone 4S on iOS 6.1.3. And uh, like I said, it's worth doing it because the phone is uh, uh, faster compared to iOS 9. And why not play some uh, cool games on this? So now, uh, by the way, one more thing. Uh, since we have added uh, uh, AppSync Unified and um, and the Checkmate Store. So I've got up Sync Unified, Checkmate Store, la la la. Okay, yeah. Then, uh, let's go to App Store. And uh, see, uh, yeah, well, not now, thank you very much. So if I go to Updates and then purchased it will ask for uh apple id obviously because uh during the setup i didn't uh, um i i didn't uh, log into my apple id so i'll do that uh, real quick so as you can see it says that the, my apple id or password is incorrect well it's not but on ios 6 uh when you've got 2fa enabled you have to uh, enter that six digit code after your actual uh, Apple ID password. Uh, so let me do that and I'll show you that the, I will be able to log into my, uh, to the App Store with my Apple ID. So now that we are uh, into the App Store logged in, let's say if I go and uh, download the Temple Run 2, You will see that uh, it will say that download the uh, older version of this app, most compatible. Yeah, and uh, if I go back to home screen, it will start uh, downloading the app itself. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.